We're out here on the golf course. Shannon and I are with Steve Beecroft and Steve Lee uh, at uh, Winding River Plantation at Carolina National Golf Course. In the background, we have Phil Smiley giving a clinic, and we just want to introduce you and thank you for being on the show today. Thank you. I'm proud, proud to do it. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, what all you have uh, for the golfers out here at Carolina National? Sure. I mean, we have 27 holes uh, of golf, and they are uh, Freddie Couples' signature golf course. It's one of the only ones on the Grand Strand uh, designed by Fred Couples. Uh, it's something to offer to everybody. We have five sets of tees on each one of the uh, holes. That, uh, that way, if you're a beginning golfer all the way up to a, a scratch golfer, you know, we have a, a challengeable golf course for you. Uh, out here. We have a, a, one of the biggest driving ranges in Brunswick County, all grass, tee, uh, if you just want to come out and practice. We have a uh, over 10,000 square foot putting green. I mean, we just, we have a lot to offer, you know, whether you just want to come out for a casual round, a serious round, uh, just to get away from the office, uh, just to hit a bag of balls or two. Um, you know, we have it all as far as the golf goes. Good. So. Now we have Phil back here in the background giving uh, a golf clinic. You guys do that for the public, or is that just for folks that are members? No, we do that for anybody. We uh, uh, Phil's my PGA head professional here. I also have a, a certified PGA uh, teaching professional as well on staff, uh, Cheryl Brinkle. So we have we have uh, both men and women teachers. Uh, some sometimes a lady will feel a little bit intimidated uh, to take a lesson from a male, and sometimes vice versa. But so we can offer anything to anybody. You know, we can do group clinics, we can do individual private lessons, we can do, let's say your office wants to get out and have a good time on a, on a Friday afternoon, we could set up an hour clinic uh, just as a, maybe an, like a little employee appreciation uh, type of an event. And it's, it, we're definitely open to, uh, we're semi-private, so we're open to, to everybody. So you can make it fun and it can be serious for those hardcore golfers also. It, it is, and sometimes you know it starts out as fun and then the competitive juices start flowing <laughs> amongst people and it becomes serious. So. That's great. Well, listen, also, I noticed as we were coming in, and I've been over here before for some events, you have the uh, the clubhouse and a pro shop there also? Yes, we do. We have a fully stocked pro shop, uh, sells any piece of apparel you may need for golf, uh, including clubs. Uh, so we even rent clubs. So if you don't have them, uh, we, can, we can offer you rental sets to either come out and play or, you know, come out and use a driving range. You know, so you don't even have to own a set of clubs to come out and use our facility. Uh, we also have the plantation grill. Uh, inside that offers uh, lunch seven days a week. We do dinners on Tuesday nights and Friday nights that are open to everybody. Uh, and we also cater. Uh, we do weddings out here. We can do private parties. We have golf tournaments. I mean, just about anything that has to do with golf, we can do, and anything we have to do with food, we can do. We recently had an event out here, and the chef was amazing. We had uh, spicy tuna rolls and lobster ragoons. It was great, so the food was really good. George Kyle does a great yes. job for us jalapeno, uh, stuffed jalapeno peppers, yes. that was the, the one that I really enjoyed. Yeah. You hosted our Future 10 reception that we recently had, and we really appreciate that. And as mm -hmm. Shannon was saying, uh, the, the food was delicious. We had a, an excellent time, we had a good turnout, and we appreciate your hospitality, and I think all the folks that came to the show did also. We enjoy doing things along those lines. You know, it's always good to, to be able to showcase you know, your, your talents. And when you got somebody as talented mm -hmm. as George, you want to try to, you know, let him loose whenever you can. Oh, yeah. um, I noticed on your website that you have that you're an Audubon sanctioned golf course. What does that mean exactly? That means that we are uh, certified um, to basically uh, preserve the, the natural settings of the golf course. Um, we're located on the Lockwood Folly River. We have a lot of wetland areas. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we want to try to do is we want to try to make sure that we uh, instill the natural habitat as much as we can while being a fully functional golf course. That's pretty great. Now, Steve, you're the marketing yes, sir. specialist here, yep. so and so uh, you help folks set up their events. Yep, yep, set up the events. Um, we also host uh, package play from uh, the tourists coming down, and so we organize that as well. Very good, very good. Um, we've got the clinic going on back there with Phil and um, Sandy Bell, who actually works at the chamber. She came out with us today. Could you give us a little bit of description of what, what you can expect at a clinic? Sure. Uh, the, the one thing that we want to try to do when we uh, do any clinic is we want to find out what does the student want? You know, what do you want and what do you expect from a golf clinic? Because, again, everybody uh, has a different skill level. Everybody has different expectations, but it all begins with what do you want? 
So, you know, I can see where Sandy's got a little bit of uh, golf talent. A little bit, uh-huh. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> uh, but, you know, so what Phil's doing is trying to teach you the basics. You know, try to get you started to go, um, you know, it's like you, you, you master step A, then you go to step B. Then you go from B to C all the way down through the alphabet. So it's very important in a beginner's clinic that you don't overwhelm the student but you really want to set them up for success later on. So we talk about our posture, your grip, your alignment. Those three will never change, you know, no matter how good of a golfer you are or how bad of a golfer you are. Those three things are staple items. So it'll never change. And then you start working about the, the golf swing itself. Um, everybody's built differently. Everybody has different physical characteristics, so you can't all swing the club the same. So that's why, again, it's, certain things have to be adapted to the individual golfer. You know, but you know, what we want to try to do as well is, is get contact. You know, hitting the ball, direction's easy to fix, contact's not. Well, listen, Steve, could you uh, tell the audience a little bit about how they can find you? I know we're out here in Bolivia, a little bit off of the beaten path. Could you let them know exactly how to get here and uh, some more information about your location? Sure, we're, we're uh, conveniently located, just minutes from Myrtle Beach. <laughs> All right, I mean, that, that's that, and Wilmington. That's, that's, a, that's a wide variety of area, but we're, you know, we're almost, uh, you want to say kind of jokingly that we're, we're in, in the middle of nowhere, but we're close to everything. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you just go to our website, carolinanationalgolf.com, um, you can log in there. You can, uh, we have some forums on there. You can register as a new golfer to get our updates. You can register to be, to get our, uh, our menus uh, emailed to you for our dinners. Um, and everything really comes from our website. You know, we're, we're just minutes off of 211. Uh, on uh, 17 and 211. So we're just, like I said, just about five, mi five minutes down from 17, you're on the tee box. You're right, uh, on, in route to uh, Southport Oak Island, Caswell Beach, and mm -hmm. that, that location too. So you're pretty centrally located between all of the South Brunswick beaches here, not too far out of Wilmington to the south, and just a little north of Myrtle Beach and mm -hmm. North Myrtle Beach area. Correct, correct. And we find a lot of our play coming, you know, on their drive in, if they're from out of town, they will, they will pick us as one of their golf courses because we are so conveniently located okay. uh, for that trip right off of uh, 17. Social media, Facebook, Twitter, do you guys do all that? We do. Facebook. What's your Facebook? How can we find you on Facebook? Just go to Carolina, Carolina National, National Golf. National yeah. Golf. All right. Mm -hmm. there Very go. good. Steve, if you could uh, give the audience uh, all your contact information, website, uh, physical address and phone number so that they can get a hold of you or look you up online. 910-755-5200. Uh, and you'll have all the extensions there for whoever you want to talk to, whether you're booking a, uh, a banquet with George or if you've got a wedding reception you want to do, you just call George. If you want to set up a group event, you can contact Steve, all at that same number. Uh, CarolinaNationalGolf.com, uh, info at TraditionalGolf.com uh, is also uh, info at TraditionalGolfClubs.com uh, is our email address. Um, and everything, again, is on the website. If you want to contact me personally or Phil uh, or Steve or George, all of our email addresses are on the website. Well, we thank you very much for yes. uh, coming out here. It's a little chilly today, but it's been nice to, to learn more about Carolina National. Great. Glad to have you. And uh, again, we, we enjoy doing things like this. And, you know, it, it's about time we get people back out on the golf course, you know, and realizing how uh, much of a relaxing recreational sport it actually is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.